I'm Dominic Stevens. Last week we learned that inflation had dropped to 1.4%. We were braced for a very weak number, but this was below even our expectations. And it now looks as though inflation is going to drop to just 0.2% in the March quarter of next year. Now this is absolutely at the heart of everything going on in the New Zealand economy at present. The COVID recession has caused a big shortfall of demand in the economy relative to supply, mainly because of the lack of international tourists in the country. This hole in demand is putting downward pressure on prices and inflation, and in fact the danger now is that we could end up in deflation. The Reserve Bank absolutely has to ensure that that does not happen by engineering lower interest rates with the aim of boosting demand and thus keeping inflation at a low, stable and positive number. The thing is though, the side effect of the Reserve Bank's actions is that lower interest rates tend to boost asset prices, most notably house prices. My view is that inflation is going to stay very low for some time, therefore the Reserve Bank is going to have to continue with its low interest rate policy, and therefore these rapid house price increases are going to continue well into next year. The thing is though, we have to ask ourselves, when does all of this end? And the simple answer is, when inflation pops higher. That could be years down the line, but when it happens, the Reserve Bank will have to lift interest rates. When interest rates go up, house prices could well go down again. In fact, if history is any guide, the, the decline in house prices could be quite sudden and quite severe, causing attendant difficulties throughout the wider economy. Talk to you next week.